Moi, je ne suis pas sûr si... Si il a besoin de rouge, il a besoin de... and wanted to create a commission which was a collaboration between an artist and a composer. And I, I started by talking to Tilo Heinzmann, the painter, saying, you know, Tilo, let's make a piece of work which is both music and art. And he, but not, as it often is, where a composer's sort of illustrating a piece of artwork that exists already, but something more dynamic where there's a you know, a genuine collaboration between the two. You know, this idea of 12 conversations isn't literal. It isn't, you know, one movement representing a particular date on which we all got together and talked. But it's more a, a sort of description of the, the differing emotions and moods and topics that we were talking about. So after 12 Conversations was first performed, we had a long think about you know, how do we record it, who's going to record it. And one of the people you hadn't talked to about that was Neil from the, the Echo Collective. And so I think you know, Neil is, is the right person to take the heritage of that fall because Neil really understands what you was trying to do with his music and how to kind of express the musical language that you had had created. For me, playing them, they speak of almost a journey, like Johann's journey. Um, we can feel pieces that feel like early Johann, and pieces that feel um, like Orfe. Um, and so to see this progression, and I think it speaks to, in that same way, a progression of life. There's a profound melancholy in his music and a desire for movement within stillness. Um, but that reflected also in his way of carrying himself. Um, you could feel that, that kind of quiet intensity. Um, and I think his music is a, really a reflection of him in that way. Moi, je pense que la musique en général est un moyen de communication où il n'y a pas de mots justement, donc ça fonctionne plus par image, euh, sensation, sensibilité. Mais euh, effectivement, comme c'est un langage, voilà, il communiquait par ce langage-là une sensation que moi, je retrouve en moi du coup, comme une sensation de mélancolie, intensité, euh, son, euh, ambiance, nature, beaucoup de nature aussi, hein, un sentiment de profondeur d'espace aussi peut-être de là où d'image de là où il vient in his music he's able to find intensity because he's willing to go to nothing and come away from nothing um, you know the sound coming to almost zero and then leaving again um, or a color going to the really extremes of that color in order to generate a new color is um, is where that intensity and you know, audaciousness comes from, and that's what we worked on the most with him was how to move from one work to the next in a way that there was a clear line and um, an emotion that came out of an emotion um, that felt like it was natural, um, that it had to be that way, that it didn't inevitable. It couldn't. It couldn't be any other way. <laughs> 